I hope and pray that everyone is well and that your families are well and that you continue to be able to uh, deal with whatever comes our way with the coronavirus. I was blessed this past weekend with my wife Meredith to travel down to Florida to see our son Daniel and his wife Natalie and our grandson Simon. We left Thursday, came back Monday, and it was such a joy to see them. <laughs> Steve did a great job holding down the service and, uh, and preaching, and uh, we continue to hold service here at our 10 o'clock service with social distancing and masks. And that's been a blessing for those who are able to come and comfortable with coming and yet at the same time I encourage you if you're not comfortable going out if you're not comfortable wearing masks uh, during uh, an hour-long service then just stream at home until you're able to come out as South Carolina continues to reopen along with uh, every state I believe right now in the United States is uh, attempting to reopen in various ways that you're able to cope with all that's going on uh, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically. Uh, I wrote an e-blast this week and I encourage you to read the e-blast about learning to be content in the challenges in which we're in and, uh, and learning to enjoy and even be thankful for the blessings that you have. I know there's challenges going on in various people's lives. I just saw Janice Ring who is planning on opening up the preschool with all the precautions uh, in June. And she has a cut on her hand that cut a couple tendons in her finger and she's doing okay, she's doing the therapy. And uh, as always, Janice is joyful and upbeat and uh, continuing to plan on doing ministry. I saw Susie Galloway, who does a number of uh, ministries around here. She's been on the sound and video team uh, during this time with streaming and and uh, she has a walking boot on and she's upbeat and joyful uh, and it's a blessing to see people who are faring well even with additional challenges during this time and I trust you are as well and if not try to reach out to someone reach out to someone who's a friend a family member a counselor uh, one of the pastors at the church just to seek to uh, find some peace and solace during this time and and to have someone to pray with uh, so that you can find the Lord's presence. If you're having a problem right now, uh, seeking him and finding him, <clears throat> talk with someone, pray with someone uh, that might be helpful to you. We continue to take steps forward here. Uh, we've done some additional uh, steps that will help with people re-entering and feeling comfortable as we continue to worship here. Uh, we're continuing with masks and hand sanitizers. Bring your own either one, both. Uh, we do have both here. Uh, we continue to social distance for worship and we were around 70 people this week, I believe. <clears throat> Much lower than usual, but people are venturing back. Uh, we are fogging the church uh, with uh, a company called Belfour. And Belfour uses a vegetable-based, uh, non-toxic uh, treatment that kills viruses. Uh, we continue to have our, our Saxons, wonderful guys, uh, Garvin and Rodcliffe, and they wipe the church down with a disinfectant that kills viruses. We are looking into putting a UV light uh, in our air conditioning, uh, heating system, the air handler to kill uh, viruses. Apparently, ultraviolet light kills viruses when it's exposed to ultraviolet light. So we're planning on installing those in the system that as the air circulates, that it will kill the viruses and any virus. It, it will be helpful for the future as we get into flu season again. Not that anyone wants to think about that, but it's the reality. And my prayer for you is to continue to seek the Lord, seek out the help you need if you need help, trust the Lord, and continue to worship and pray and seek him in his word. It's a wonderful time in this time of a different pace and unusual unprecedented time to seek the Lord and to find solace in him I know people are trying to fill their times particularly people that are used to working not working <clears throat> some people are overwhelmed with homeschooling and children and there are people virtually uh, isolated uh, because they're in communities or in their home and they're fearful of going out and uh, 
and we just need to be sensitive to one another during this time. Not everyone is on the same page. I realize that. And we have people who think this is ridiculous, and on the other hand, people that think that we're moving forward too quickly. Try to be patient with one another, as Scripture talks about. Bear with one another, as Scripture encourages us. Learn to be forgiving of those who don't stand where you stand with what's going on. Uh, continue to trust the Lord in all that you do. Uh, the Lord is faithful, and uh, we can find peace, uh, as I put in my article, the peace that passes understanding, amidst a time when we really don't understand what's going on around us. But he is greater than all that's going on around us. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you that you have protected and watched over us amidst the challenges. We know that there are people in our midst who are struggling with health concerns, uh, with various ailments and illnesses and ailments. And Lord, I pray right now that you would bring peace to all of us, that we would learn to cope with our own personality in the midst of the differences that we experience, our own beliefs about this virus and what the government is doing amidst the virus, that we could learn to essentially and ultimately trust in you and that we could be a support and, and uh, a person of solace and compassion for other people. That this might even be a time for us to be used to reach people with the gospel because people are desperate and people are fearful and especially people that don't know you and don't have eternal security. Lord, what a wonderful time to reach out to them and to bring the gospel to them. Lord, help us always to, to seek what you call us to be and to do, and especially during this time, Lord, to, to wholly and completely trust in you, rest in you, find your peace that passes understanding, and to continue uh, to be a source of comfort and strength for those around us, our family, our friends, our neighbors, even those that we may not know, but that we can bring that as we go out in public, uh, being careful as we're out, uh, and, and yet at the same time be salt and light. Lord, bless us all and keep us as we trust in you. And I ask this and pray this in the strong name of Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.